Hey, welcome to our brand new channel, To Be Keto. Kind of says it in the name. It's all about keto cooking, and we do a lot of uh, grilling, barbecuing, smoking, nice fatty cuts of meat, do a lot of uh, interesting things, different ways to make chaffles, and you know, sort of the fake uh, mashed potatoes, all kinds of stuff. So, anyways, I thought, you know, since we're launching this brand new channel, what better way to do it than with a smoked corned beef because it's so close to St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to put this corned beef out on the Pit Boss. It's the XL1000. Uh, it's a pellet grill and it does a great job at smoking all kinds of stuff. Whether you're doing, you know, corned beef or briskets or ribs or whatever, it does a great job. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's, uh, let's get down here on the table and start putting this thing together, get it out there in the grill and we'll go from there. Okay, you guessed it. We're going to use just a standard store-bought uh, corned beef. We are going to have a corned beef video coming up on um, doing one of these homemade, but this is just your standard store-bought. This one here is about four, uh, 4.1 pounds, and it's the point cut really nice and thick and got some good fat in there. Now, when you open these things up, you're going to notice uh, these packets. Now, nope, pitch them. When it comes to uh, the packets, when we're smoking them, I don't use those types of seasonings. We're going to add our own here in a little bit, but uh, first thing we want to do is just get these out of the uh, out of the wrapper, and they're going to be kind of slimy. Um, anybody who's ever cooked corned beef uh, from the store knows that this is the way they turn out. The first thing we got to do is get these in some water. I got a nice cold bowl of water here. Going to let this sit in here for just a few minutes, and then we're going to head over here to the sink and get these things rinsed. Now, I'm gonna let this soak in the water and I'm gonna rinse it a lot for about two to three hours here. Um, you really want to let these things soak a minimum of two hours, I would say. Uh, the longer, the better. Uh, you can even go overnight if you want to. But corned beef, um, store-bought corned beef is extremely salty. And because we're not boiling it, because we're smoking it, you're, that, that salt is really going to come through. So the more you can swap out this water, rinse and repeat, uh, the, the better that corned beef is going to taste. So I'm going to do this thing probably three or four times, just the rinse and repeat method, uh, probably for about two and a half to three hours here. Now, once you're done with that, uh, get yourself some fancy paper towels because we want to dry this thing. We want to pat this thing dry and get get a lot of that uh, that water off of there it's going to help uh, it's going to help the smoke penetrate down to the meat a little bit it's going to help the the rub stick just a little bit so you pat all four sides down really good uh, probably go through a few paper towels but that's all right so we're going to use some rudy's rub today um, rudy's is one of my favorite rubs it's got a lot of flavor and it's got some some heat it's not too hot but it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it I'll link some Rudy's uh, rub down below. It does contain a tiny, tiny amount of, of uh, sugar in here, but the serving size has zero carbs, so I use it. And by the time, you know, you're only going to eat a few slices of this anyway, so, you know, you're, you're not going to be, it's not going to be bouncing your blood sugars or anything like that. Just make sure you're getting all the sides, you know, top, bottom, sides, front, back. Uh, get that rub, you know, kind of worked in there a little bit. Now, I'm going to let this sit on the counter for about 30 to 40 minutes and just let that rub penetrate down into the corned beef. It's really going to bring in that flavor uh, later on. So, And it's okay to just set it room temperature. It's already cured. Next, we're going to set the smoker to uh, the smoke setting on this Pit Boss is P7, which is a heavy smoke. Um, got it set on the smoke setting, so it's going to roll some heavy smoke. And I'm going to set this... Well, first I'm going to get my probe in here and get that probe dead center the best I can get it. Um, that way I can keep an eye on it. I'm going to set this on the top left. Um, the pit boss, that's the coolest area of the grill. So i put it up there. All right, it's been about two hours now. This thing's coming along beautifully. Uh, got a lot of smoke in there, but it's not really cooking it. The internal temp is still pretty low. It's, actually, it's very low. It's like 62. So time to move it. We're going to drop this thing down to the bottom right. And that is the hottest area of my pit boss. So now we're going to crank up the heat. I'm going to put this thing up around uh, 250 right now and let this thing go for a little while. Okay, it has hit an internal temperature of 180 degrees. Now that's it. I don't want to push it any farther than that. It's going to start getting a little bit too tender. 
so I don't want it falling apart when I slice it. Now you can see the grains run here. Um, you see the grain direction. I want to slice across the grain. I don't want to slice with the grain, otherwise it just gets real stringy and chewy. But uh, slicing right across the grain, and ho oh, ho ho, this thing is nice and juicy. Holy smokes, this thing is juicy. I know it looks dry on the outside, but let's uh, let's take a real close look at this. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll uh, we'll have a video coming up here too on you know what what we're gonna do with the leftovers and corned beef hash, keto corned beef hash. So stay tuned for that video. But man, this is uh, this is really really nice. I suppose we should taste it. All right, we're gonna slice a piece. Give this a taste test. See how it turned out. Smoked corned beef brisket. Mmm. Looks really good. I love that Rudy's rub on there. Nice and tender. Still got a bite to it. That's a winner. Give this a try. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Welcome to the new channel. We'll see you next time.